Welcome back. Our Chijoke is here that joins us now. He is a sports correspondent with the nation's newspaper, Sporting Like Precisely. <laughs> well, good to have you. Yeah, good morning. Uh, it's always good to be here. Yeah, you just watched this report on the National Stadium. What do you think? What's going to happen? Uh, it's about time. It's about time. It's about time the National Stadium comes back to life. And we missed the National Stadium. Um, it's the only natural grass in Lagos. Um, we have the best slim artificial turf. And if the National Stadium comes back, you know, it's a business um, hope. boom hope for, for Lagosians. And it will make more money for the Lagos State government, federal government, um, large. So we need the National Stadium. And it's good they are talking about it. So, oh, so let's, let's have the National Stadium it's, back. It's been dead. Okay. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. But, I don't know about that, but there, there are no <laughs> activities <laughs> there. It's dead. Okay, yeah. the list of the Super Eagles out, the names, uh, if you remove the usual suspect, talking about the Mikel and all that, thing. and just add in one or two, that's all we have. Tyre, just go to Yeah, I mean, uh, Carly Keme is the number one choice now. That's the goalkeeper for Nigeria. Daniel Akbaye as well, so he's in the squad. Uh, Ikechuku Ezenwa, uh, that's the only own based uh, player in that team. But the defenders, um, Cecilia Oyava, Leon Balogun, uh, William Trust, Ekon, Kenneth Omero, Uche Agbo, uh, Abdullah Shewu. Musa Mohamed, uh, Tyron, a boy. Uh, is he going to make it this time around? So see that the last Hopefully. time he was called up. He's it a friendly. He's in London, so he can make it. He didn't show up. Oh, the, okay, still on the defenders. Elders in the Che who plays in Spain now these days. Um, uh, Kingsley Madu, uh, Chi Jose, uh, our Zen is in that team as well. So and the midfielders are uh, Ogeni Onazi, um, Cecilia, you have Wilfred Ndidi, uh, Ogeni Karatebo, uh, John Ogu, uh, having a great time as well. So the forwards are uh, Ahmed Musa, uh, Kelechi Yanachal, Moses Simon, Victor Moses, Alex Iwobi, Isaac Success, uh, Noel Joel Bazi. That's the name. You're going to tell, tell us about the, the lad I'm from uh, Germany. And uh, Victor Sin as well. So those two guys based in Germany. Um, Cecilia, okay, she just uh, <laughs> Let's talk about uh, Noel Joel Bazi. I mean, uh, where, yeah, where did he, that come from? I mean, he plays, he plays for Hanover. He's a German born of Nigerian descent. Mm -hmm. um, a, a player, he plays an out and out role. A striker, but also he can play as a second striker. Um, so I think um, Ro is looking out at his um, attacking options. And since there's no Igalo, there's no Idee because of their uh, move to China, mm -hmm. I, I think it's just right for him to bring in um, somebody that can fill in um, for them. And if he does very well, he can just um, you know um, take that position because um, the Super Eagles haven't had a striker in the mood of Rashidi Yakini or. Yeah. Oh, I'm, 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 comparing him to I'm not comparing, but yeah. yeah. let's, let's, let's just go through. He plays in the second Bundesliga. That's the you know the league below yeah, the Hanover. German Bundesliga. Hanover um, position as a forward is 20, so he's very young. 10 games on, one goal this season. He's been injured a lot. Was injured for the first 10 games of the season, so he's just trying to come back. And w w there are people out there that feel there are other players there that could have gotten this invite. And why um, Noir draw Bassi? Um, like I said, you know, um, Roy has been looking at um, the German uh, league a lot. He's a German, okay. and that's why Osime is in the team, because okay. people will also ask, uh, Osime, I don't know if he's playing um, for Wolfsburg also. Um, so why was he invited also? So he, you, you get um, the impression that um, he wants um, a blend of very youthful players. That team, the team is very, very young, mm. um, very, very young team. And I wonder why he didn't invite any striker from um, the local league, because he watched... Uh, like some couple of games in the Nigerian league, and uh, recently we saw a wonderful goal from MFM striker yeah, Tobasun. Okay, so uh, yeah, I get a fair, fair, fair point. Let's just all, all the thoughts and for a while. Let's go on a break, and uh, when we return, we'll look at the papers, what the papers are saying. We'll talk about Luis Enrique as well, so and why he's decided to leave Barcelona at the end of the season. Stay with us. <laughs> Home stretch now, and we, before we go to the papers, um, let's look at the uh, match day 11 of the Nigerian Professional Football League um, games played um, yesterday. And um, we we'll start with the game between Wicked Tourist and Rivers United, which ended goalless. And Rangers International defeated ABS uh, of Lauren by a lone goal. Katsina United 2 1 over MFM. Remosters 1 1 against Canopilas. Anybody drew goalless um, against uh, Shooting Stars. 
Plato United was goalless against Lobby Stars and um, Gombe United defeated Ife and Yubasa. So like you said, they're not good travellers. They lost yeah. by two goals to nil um, against Gombe United. Abia Warriors finally got the win under Abdullah before one nil over Niger Tornadoes and El Kenemi Warriors 19 in a row. 3-1 yeah. over Sunshine Stars. Last but not the least, um, Nassau United versus Aqua United. That will be played uh, on Thursday. That's today. today. Which are the results? The the goal goal uh, I think 3SC. 3SC uh, three three going to um, pick a point and, uh, away against the Yimba. I think that's a massive, massive. result for them. Um, for Yimba, uh, again, they, they, they are disappointing and, and they, I've not been impressed with Yimba this season and mm -hmm. I, I expect more from from the Imba team. Um, for ABS also, uh, a team that came um, from um, the NNL and yeah. they've been doing very well. They are third on the log and they narrowly lost um, to so Rangers. Rangers and 1-0. Yesterday they played a fantastic second half but mm. um, it, Rangers scored very early and took that one. So it's the league is it's like always like, like I say always it's like the best in the world. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so I'm um, still Plat United still on top, twenty one points and yeah, but let's move on from Nigerian Professional Football League now. Eric K losing Eric says he's gonna retire. Okay. So he's gonna retire. <laughs> yeah, so he's gonna leave he's not retiring. Come on, he's taking he's a break. At the end of the season, are you surprised by that decision? Uh, I'm not. I'm I'm not. The, the pressure is on on him. Uh, yes, he won the league um last time, but um, it, the team hasn't been playing very well this time. They, they are recovering now because Madrid has decided to yes. falter at this time of the season. So uh, I'm not surprised at all because um, they need um, a better coach, a better tactician. Really? Yeah, really? yeah, they need a better this guy tactician. Won a in the, in the team. In the first season, exactly. They won a double in the second season. So a third season is struggling. But, a you beat, know, but they're still in the run for three titles. But so you know the Barcelona team. Who's out there? You know the Barcelona team. Yes. They have Messi, they have Suarez. Oh. He gave us MS, oh. MS and give it to him. <laughs> now, just quickly look at the papers. I think we have one more minute left. <laughs> I'll start with this one. NHL returns with a bang. He played four. Uh, that's a complete sport. Uh, he played for just 11 minutes, but then he scored in the game against the Hoodies. We're talking about the replay of the FA Cup. And uh, Ross uh, picks 25 Eagles for Senegal and Burkina Faso friendlies. And Moses signed new seven to five thousand pounds a week Chelsea deal. Mm -hmm. And Sporting signed the next uh, Moses signed two year deal, 42 million weekly. That's what you have in Sporting Sun. And uh, Real Madrid players gang up against Cristiano Ronaldo. I don't know where this one is coming from. Okay, uh, Sporting, Sporting Live is last people for review. Just you know, have a have a shot at this one, TJK. Um, Guardiola pizzas in yeah, Anacho. I mean, do you think <laughs> this is all about pizza now? I mean, this guy, uh, he, whenever he plays, he scores. Um, Anacho yeah, scores every time he comes on. And mm -hmm. when he scored yesterday, the cameras just went straight to so, Pep Guardiola. Yeah, like and and Guardiola was like, wow, okay. he did it again. And again, he knows the question will come up. Why don't you play this young lad? Mm -hmm. Six consecutive games before that game. Yep. He kept him out of the team. He didn't see a single minute. And when he came on, 11 minutes and he scored one Stop. goal. He, he gave maintains that ratio of scoring mm -hmm. in every 96 uh, minutes mm -hmm. in a football match. It's just amazing. It's okay. incredible. Right? But, I Thank mean, you. In the summer. Thank you for well, coming. I mean, next no, time when you come, no. you're going to ask that question. <laughs> Thank you very much. Boy, he has to go, right? He has to go. He has to go. Yeah. He has to go in the summer. <laughs> uh, no. Oh. Yeah, stay. Definitely, I was well, thank stay. you so much for being part of the program. I'm Cecilia. I'm Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm Tayo Salam. <laughs>